A fresh wave of protests sweeping Hong Kong today. Demonstrators surrounded police headquarters, calling for an extradition bill to be scrapped. And that's not their only demand. There's also a push for the chief of police to step down and for charges to be dropped against those arrested during last week's mass rallies. That saw violent clashes with officers, marking the worst violence the region has seen in decades. The latest protests come a day after the government missed a deadline set by demonstrators to completely abandon the extradition bill. That critics say will erode the territory's judicial independence and bring Hong Kong under China's control. The bill would allow suspects accused of criminal wrongdoing to be extradited to mainland China. The measure is currently suspended, but not scrapped. I personally have to shoulder much of the responsibility. Hong Kong's leader, Carrie Lam, has apologized for the unrest caused by the planned extradition legislation and has said she's heard the people loud and clear. But she is resisting calls to withdraw the bill altogether. Pro-democracy campaigner Joshua Wong joining today's protest, condemning police violence. At the same time, we urge government not to define our demonstration as riot. That's why we join this action. And we're hearing from Amnesty International today is saying it has verified footage of 14 instances of apparent police violence against peaceful protesters in Hong Kong from last week, including incidents of the dangerous use of rubber bullets, officers beating protesters who did not resist, aggressive tactics used by police to obstruct journalists on site, and the misuse of tear gas and pepper spray. The group says police must be held accountable for the excessive use of force.